Hey everyone, it's Jessica. Welcome to another video on my channel. Today, we are gonna do an anti-haul and wish list. I do these every other month. I can link my most recent one down below. Basically, I just take time to go through the Sephora and Ulta like new arrival section of their websites and talk about new makeup that's out, whether I don't want it, why I don't want it, why I might not think it's a great product, or products I have on my wish list that I'm thinking about buying. This video I feel like comes at a good time, considering that a lot of us are, you know, trying not to shop as much. Money might be tight for a lot of us, tighter than normal even. Expenses like makeup are hard to justify right now. You know what I mean? So for me, I've just been adding them to wish lists, so I'm kind of window shopping online. I saw Lauren May Beauty did a really fun window shopping video I can link below as well, because I just thought it was such a cute idea. If you enjoy this style of video, I hope that you will subscribe, stick around. Right now I'm doing over four videos a week, sometimes five. I'd love to have you join our family. So let's get into the video. So I wanted to take a moment and address the elephant in the room, these glasses. I have gotten more questions about these glasses. I've worn them a lot, like on my Instagram stories. These are actually from the brand Warby Parker and they happen to be sponsoring this portion of the video. So I wanted to share what style they were, how you get them, etc. So Warby Parker is a company that does vision care both online and in stores. They offer prescription glasses, sunglasses, you can get blue light glasses, they even offer eye exams and contact lenses. Their glasses start at $95, including prescription ones. And so here's why I loved it and even my husband has hopped on board. So basically what you do is on the Warby Parker website, you will take a quick little quiz. They'll ask you what color frames you like, what types of material you like your frames to be made of, your face width, etc then they will suggest frames they think that you will like. What's cool is you can browse all of their lenses and you can pick any five to try on for free at home for five days. I thought this was so cool. You don't have to pay for shipping. If you end up not liking any of them, you can send it back. They give you a prepaid return label. So when I got my five that I picked out, I tried them on. I thought they were all so, so cute. I ended up asking my husband to look at them on me as well. We both agreed that this Vaughn style pair was the best one on me and I love them so much. I can't stop wearing them, you guys. So if you're interested in trying Warby Parker's free try on programs where you get five pairs sent to your home, it ships free, you get a prepaid return label, no obligation to buy. All you have to do is go to warbyparker.com slash Jessica Braun to get your five free pairs sent to your house to try on. Like I said, my husband liked it so much when I first got these a few months ago, he ended up ordering his own five to try on at home and they were all so cute on him. So thank you Warby Parker for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. And let's go ahead and get into the anti-haul and wish list. By the way, my central perk mug. Oh my gosh. I found it like a month ago for like $6 at Meyer, and I, oh my gosh, I bought it so hard. All right. I have to admit there's a lot on my wish list right now. There were more things that I wanted than things I didn't want. And usually it's actually the other way around. So Tarte launched a like line of new products. And man, oh man, do they all sound really cute. So first up is their Maracuja Hydrating Tinted Moisturizer. Here's the cute thing. They are selling mini sizes of a lot of their launches, which I think is genius. So many brands are hopping on board and I think that is so great because then you don't have to invest all the money just in case you don't like it, you know what I mean? Or if it's something that you might not even use it up yourself. The minis are $15, the full size is 29. However, the minis, there are of course only a few shades of the minis and a lot of the lighter ones that would fit my skin tone maybe are sold out. So I'm kind of waiting on this one. It's described as an ultra lightweight tinted moisturizer. It gives sheer coverage, but it's got the Maracuja Super Fruit, gives 12 hours of hydration and wear. That just sounds like something I would wear. Most days I'm wearing a lighter coverage, tinted moisturizer-esque product, BB cream-esque product, and that, this sounds like just what I would love. It's got turmeric root extract as well that's supposed to soothe redness, and I definitely do get redness a little on my nose and a little bit on my cheeks from time to time. And it's got the beloved hyaluronic acid. So. Definitely high on my list. Right now, I'm still playing with a lot of other newer products to me, face products. And so I, I want to give those the love they deserve and I'm enjoying them. So I don't need it, but it is definitely on my wish list. Tarte also released their Sea Breezy Cream Bronzer. They have a mini size. There are only two shades and they have a mini size of the lighter one for 14 bucks and then the full size is $29. The packaging of this I think is so pretty. It reminds me of, remember when, does Clinique still have like some of their packaging? I feel like a lot of it used to be like this kind of seafoam green color and now they've like moved away from it I think. But 
It just gives me those like nostalgic Clinique vibes, but it also just makes me think of like beach towns and oh, I don't know, there's something about it I think is so, so pretty. You guys know I love cream bronzer, but I've lately been digging some like cream bronzers that are like in a pan like this where I can just throw my brush in it and put it on. It's just kind of made getting ready quickly really easy. I mean, the reality is I can just put my brush on the stick. But you know, it's like a mindset thing. Anyway, so that one is very, very high on my list. And oh my gosh, it just looks so cute. And it says it has marine plant extracts that help reduce the appearance of fine lines. If really a bronzer to help with fine lines, that sounds great. I don't know. It does say it's waterproof and buildable too. So that's interesting that it's waterproof. But what that tells me is if you sweat or whatever, a lot of cream bronzers struggle with that because they are a little more emollient. But th if this really does stay in place, that's huge. So. All right, let's talk about a product I'm not so sure I want. And so it's on my anti-haul list. It's this new product from Pat McGrath and it's her under eye blurring powder. Now here's the deal. I have been burned one too many times by Pat McGrath products. I've never tried the eyeshadows. I know that is what like people swear by. And I do have one of her lipsticks in the shade Realness and it is a gorgeously creamy product. So I will give her that credit. But I just feel like face product wise, I have not liked any of the products I've tried. And not only that, I just feel like they weren't just like, okay, they were bad for my skin type, the drier skin type. So. With that in mind, I don't know that this is bad. I will say it's got four and a half stars and 220 reviews. So clearly people are liking it, but I'm kind of like for me personally, just taking a break from Pat McGrath face products. I don't, I want to wait. I want to hear this one out because I'm like the foundation. I just totally hated and that broke my heart because it was so freaking expensive. So this is $30. So it's not quite as crazily priced as like the foundation. It's like nearly $70. So it has mica infused powder. It's got a proprietary powder blend that gives a barely there feel with unique sensorial. Wow. Application. But it says it gives an even finish and sublime radiance to the under eye area. Well, see now this is describing it the what I would like. <laughs> Oh no, no, Jessica, I'm taking a break. But on that same vein, I did wanna mention, I really don't need an under eye setting powder because I've fallen in love with this number seven Lift and Luminate one. It's around, I wanna say 12 to $14. I'm trying to remember, maybe $12.99. You can get it at Target and online and Walgreens online, I think too. It is the smoothest, most blurring under eye powder I have ever used. Like it actually blurs. It's fantastic, it's fantastic. And it's so much cheaper. And so I'm like, I really just don't need one either. Let's talk about a couple of eyeshadow palettes. Now I'm way more into like smaller palettes or single shadows. I still like palettes. There are palettes I still like. I have had my eye on this Bobbi Brown Nude Drama 2 eyeshadow palette. It is $59. That's pretty expensive. I feel like most palettes within these kinds of brands are typically around like 40, maybe 50. So this, I mean, this is pushing it, but the the shadows themselves are so pretty. The shimmers look gorgeous. I love the little bits of pink in it, but I just bought this by Terry palette. Let me grab it because I love it so much. So I bought this palette and I'm actually wearing it today. And all I'm wearing is this pink shade here. This is the by Terry Paris by Light palette. I bought it a few weeks ago. Uh, before everything went down and it's just the shimmer is so so pretty I obviously haven't used it a lot but looking at this compared to like the Bobbi Brown one I was just talking about these are awfully similar do I really need both no actually this one was around the same price as this so it's not like I saved money but it's such a gorgeous palette on top of it all so I definitely don't need it another one I don't need but I have been eyeing so hard and I think Emily Noel was using it recently and I was like oh my gosh I love it is the Viseart Paris edit eyeshadow palette this one's a little a little bit cheaper it's still expensive $39 but it's got similar shades where it's got pinks but this one has a little bit more purple and there's like a little bit of a blue truthfully ugh, it's so pretty too but again it's similar I don't need it so it's on my anti-haul list, even though <laughs> I love it. So a concealer I saw on the new arrival section on Sephora is the Kosas Revealer Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer. <sighs> well, the description sounds fantastic. Who knows in actuality, it's $28. I have really loved, I think nearly every Kosas product I have tried. They're creamy duos, well, let me just let me just show you. So this was the first product I ever tried from Kosas. It's their color and light cream duo, and it's in the shade Eighth Muse. And these are just so gorgeous. I've traveled with these a ton. 
they work with a finger, they work with a sponge, they work with a brush. I mean, you kind of do it however you want, but they actually stay in place really well. And that's what surprises me more than anything. I also have the duo Tropic Equinox and the blushy bronzer shade looks more like a bronzer on me. So I really like that. And it also has a cream highlight. I've tried the Kosas lip balms. I really like those. I just feel like there's a lot from the brand that I'm really enjoying. It reminds me of Glossier, but a little bit more my style where there's a little bit more pigment to it. That's one reason I wanna try it. I've really enjoyed a lot from the brand. So again, I'm gonna kind of sit on it for a while. It'll be on my wish list, but it says it's medium coverage. It's got concealer, eye cream, and a spot treatment in one that reveals better looking skin upon application and over time. Ooh, that sounds real good. And it says it's for normal dry combination oily skin. It's got Arnica, a botanical extract that supports skin's natural healing process, caffeine, which I have heard is pretty good for under the eyes, peptides to support natural college, collagen. Oh, now I really want it. All right, so I mentioned Tarte launched a lot of new stuff lately. They also launched their Busy Gal Goals, Busy Gal Goals, Eye and Cheek Palette, $39. I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't look like a bad palette. I don't know that there's enough shades in there that I would even use, and so that's a big reason why it's on my anti-haul list. But I'm also just, like, the idea of shadows and, like, cheek products all in one and that happening to work for your skin type is such an interesting risk that brands take. And, like, for me, I when I'm reaching for a blush and highlight, I'm not reaching for a big palette that also has eyeshadows. That's just my own thing. I'd prefer, I just like them separate. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know why, but I do. For me, it just is one of those things that it doesn't, it doesn't really serve the way I get ready and the way I like my makeup to be. <laughs> and so that's just one reason. Any palette that's got blush, bronze, or highlight, eyeshadows, all that in one, I'm not typically drawn towards anymore. Okay, this is not a new release at all, but I saw in the new arrival section and it did remind me that I wanna add this to my wish list. It's being sold at Ulta right now. It's the VDL Lumi Layer Primer. I heard Dana Ann here on YouTube who I freaking adore. If you need a YouTuber to watch during this time, I promise you will love her videos. If you like mine, you will like hers. You might like hers better than mine, so I hope you'll come back too, but just saying. So I'll link her channel. She loves this Lumi Layer Primer and she'd actually Instagram messaged me and we were talking about this and she was like, I really think you would like this. I'm like, I know, I saw it in your video and I'm thinking about it. It just looks so glowy, but like glowy in a different way than like the other glowy primers I have, where it almost, it's like pearlescent, but like in a different way, I can't explain it. So it's on my list. I also know it's sold on Yes Style, I think she said. So 32 bucks, it looks really pretty. I think this packaging might be like the Pantone color of the year packaging, if that makes sense, at least the one I'm looking at on Ulta. So that one is also very high on my wish list. Ooh, I love myself a glowy primer. Yeah, it says it creates a three-dimensional face through voluminous light. And that's what it looked like when she was using it. It just, the light bounced off her face differently and it was so gorgeous. <sighs> well, this one seems to be sold out on Ulta, but it's the Persona Super Blush. I've seen Nicole Cutler use this a lot and I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. Both shades are sold out. I don't even know which one I would choose because there's like the peachy one and then there's the more like mauve tone. They both look gorgeous. $22, do I really need a blush? No, but do I really want it? Yes. I've loved, I feel like I haven't tried anything new from Persona in a while, even though they have had new launches, but I love that they kind of slowly and thoughtfully launch things because then, guess what? It makes a lot of us want it more because we're like, ooh, like they actually thought through this and curated these few products they're launching and they're not just launching entire collections every single freaking week. So love that. It's on my list. Obviously it's sold out. I'm, it's probably available on Persona's site. Let me see. Yeah, it looks like they're available on Persona's site. So if you really wanted them, they're just sold out on Ulta. One thing I am not really interested in is the Benefit Hello Happy Foundation Stick. It's, it's 32 bucks. I, first of all, it's like only sold on Revolve website or something like that. At least right now, I thought that was an odd, that was odd to me. I'd seen it on Trend Mood's Instagram pages. I was kind of scrolling through. And honestly, I've just moved, I don't, I, do I even own any foundation sticks anymore? I think I might've gotten rid of all of them. They never seem to sit right either. They're way too emollient like the Bare Minerals one, the hydrating foundation stick. When I first put it on, I'm like, oh, it's pretty. And then within like 10 minutes, it's a mess. It is an oily mess. And then the other ones, like the Hourglass Vanish one, I loved that one for years and I still think I like it, but for everyday use, I just wasn't using it. I wasn't reaching for it because I just prefer a liquid foundation or BB cream. So it's just one of those things that again, it just doesn't fit the style of makeup I typically reach for. And so I just am not interested. This next one is one that I literally was like, no. And I was gonna put it on my anti-haul. And then I started looking at it closer and I was like, wait a minute. So it's from Milani 
and it is their Ludicrous Lights Eye Topper. These are $10. They have three shades on Ulta's site. I'm looking at Peach Ella. It says these are limited edition, so that always gives me pause, as because I do talk about and review makeup on my channel for my job, I tend to stray away from limited edition just because unless I'm dying to use it for myself, every single day. It's one of those things that once it's no longer available, I can't really show it in videos, and so it's just trickier. It's just tricky water to tread. It says it's a high impact duo chrome eye topper with the shimmering finish. The reason I thought about it and thinking about it is because I'm like, is it a dupe for the Stila shimmer and glow like liquid eye topper things? Because I've been getting back into those lately and this is less than half the price, which is so cool. So again, it's on my list. I'm thinking about it. I don't know, but it looks really pretty. And even the applicator looks similar to the Stila ones. So this one is from Pacifica. I haven't tried anything from Pacifica in years. Have you guys like, it's been a long time, but it is their Lavender Moon Bedtime Lip Treatment. It's $13. I just ran out of my Laneige lip sleeping mask. And so I'm like, okay, what do I have right now? And so I'm like, okay, I need some kind of nighttime treatment for my lips because I love that. And then I happen to see this in the new arrival section on Ulta's site. And I was like, oh, so it's got shea butter, jojoba oil, hyaluronic acid. It is a soothing, smoothing, and hydrating overnight treatment to help add moisture to dry lips. And you just leave it on overnight. And so... I'm really thinking about it, I really am. And the packaging is cute too, so bonus points for that with the little stars all over it. I just think it is so, so cute. This next one is from Makeup Revolution, so it was on Ulta's site. It's their Glass Shimmer Fixing Spray. 11 bucks, the thing that stopped me is the fact that it looks like it literally has like shimmery particles in it. And I just, I don't know, with something like that, I don't necessarily want that all over my face. Now to a certain extent, because I am enjoying the Laura Mercier like loose powder that's their glow version and there's definitely shimmer in that but it is so finely milled and as long as you place it where you actually want it it looks so beautiful but something like this i feel like it could just be everywhere and then you've got just glops of glitter in random spots not glitter but you know what i mean shimmer so for that reason i'm like mm, i think i'll pass I, I think I'll pass. One that I can't believe I haven't bought yet is the MAC Glow Play Blush. I'm working on another video where if I do buy it, I would probably use it in that video and then use it for life because it sounds like something I would adore. But it sounds like these are kind of like a cream to powder-esque blush similar to the Bare Minerals Bounce ones that I love. Actually, today I'm wearing the Bare Minerals Bounce one in the nude color. I can't think of the name, but I'll, I can link it below. I am loving that. This sounds very similar. I've seen so many YouTubers talk about these and oh my gosh, it just sounds right up my alley. The Cheeky Devil Light Pink one is the one I'm leaning towards. However, a lot of people talk about the So Natural shade that's more nude, but I feel like I, right now I have a lot of nude shades. Ooh, but that one looks so pretty. Definitely high on my list. That's been on my wish list for like a month and a half now, maybe even two months. And then, see, this is what I mean. I have so many things on my wish list, but it's okay. We're just window shopping, Jess. The Fenty Beauty cream bronzers and cream blushes that are coming out. These are not out yet. I think Sephora said it comes out on April 17th. So the cream bronzers are $32. They have a bunch of different shades. I'm leaning towards either the amber shade and use it more as a contour or the butter biscuit, which is for fair to light skin tones and it's more warm tone, like a bronzer. I might end up going the bronzer route instead of the contour route, honestly, but they both look gorgeous. And then the cream blush is $20. And so it's a little less expensive, which I thought was interesting. I'm assuming it's a small, like less product as well. Those also come out on the 17th of April, 20 bucks. I'm looking at Petal Poppin. It's like a baby pink. And I thought, oh my gosh, for spring and summer, it just looks so, like it'd be so vibrant and like, but not too pigmented, I guess we'll see. So those are definitely on my list. I'm gonna have way too many cream bronzers and blush, but I am just like, that is my favorite thing right now. So I just can't stop like oogling them online. So that's everything that are on my list. I'm sure there's many other things, truthfully, truth be told, but this video would be way too long. I wanna know, what are you not interested in at all? Like, is it a new launch that just came out or something that's been out a while and you're, you're hearing about it a lot, but you yourself are not interested? I'm just kind of curious. Let us know down below, what are the products that you are dying to try and if you're interested in any of my other videos i will have some of my recent fun videos i put up up in the eye and down below if you want to binge watch some of my channel i would totally appreciate it it obviously helps me out hugely as well as thumbsing this video up that definitely helps me out so other than that i hope you'll subscribe and stick around come say hi to me on social media it is at it's jessica braun everywhere and i'll see you guys in my next one bye